Eric has ridden these yearlings uh, in a small round pen, and then he went to a small paddock. And now he's riding on the hill where they're turned out every day. This is Duffy's first time out on the hill. And we graduate from smaller to bigger, uh, depending on how safe the horses are. But today will be a real introduction to the beginning of the route because, uh, of course, the hill is part of our route. And we'll see how Mr. Duffy does. So this is his first time with the rider on his back out in the big field, the hill. But uh, remember that every day these horses are turned out here free. So they really shouldn't react ridiculously towards uh, anything in the environment. They ought to be really used to this whole area. And that way we're not springing too much on them. When we start going around the whole route, I'll take Mr. Moose with me and he'll be like their Dutch uncle and guide them along. Now he's, whoops, he's going by where his pals are jogging around on the machine. Remember that uh, with the horse's center of balance, it's up by the withers. They've got the head and the neck and everything on the front end of the horse, carrying up most of the weight. So this is why I like the rider to sit in the middle of the back and um, keep his weight behind the withers. And that helps him carry the weight a little better until he becomes more secure. They're not that used to carrying weight. Come on, buddy. Oh, boy. Well, he's acting like a good guy. This is sort of the trail riding phase um, of training, phase one. He's looking at things. And once we think we can do that safely, we'll go, go into our jogging and easy galloping. We want them to always do more every time we ride them. So uh, if they're doing a lot of walking, a little bit of trotting, next time we'll do more trotting and then more galloping and then more trotting and galloping. And then pretty soon, there you have it. We have a trained horse. Well, it's around March 12th. It's Saturday. And uh, this is the first time Duffy has gone the route um, he did okay, but he got a little buckety buckety. So I asked uh, Eric to come up the hill again and try to ask him to gallop up the hill. When you first start uh, galloping with new babies, they have a tendency to want to buck you off when they feel you sit on their back at the gallop. The trot doesn't cause the same problem. So I like to teach him to gallop up the hill. See, he's, he's fussing a little because it's harder for them to put down their head and buck. So this is a, it's a good way if you're going to start the gallop and they have a tendency to buck, get them to gallop up a hill.